Hi there, I would like to show you an install on a 3D printed Kylo Ren and the files for the 3D print are based on um, the Gustavo files um, and you've probably seen a lot of these sabers before. Um, but this saber I got from a customer to do an install and I also would like to use this video as a chance to show my install service because I will be one of the guys um, offering the install to the upcoming aluminium Kylo Ren Saber. So, um, at first I have the recharge port in the back. Screw, uh, we screw off the pommel and you see here the kill key. You just pull the kill key out of the recharge port. There has been an awakening. And we hear the boot sound. Have you felt it? Okay, screw it back on and we have the power on button here and the auxiliary button here because we need two switches for the crystal shard version 3.0 by Plekta Labs, Labs which is installed here. So you press the power on button and you see um, this board has a trident feature so it um, supports having a main blade and a side blade which are activated um, in a delayed way. So you also have blaster block and um, block up. And here I have flash on clash on the main blade but not on the side blades and I'll show you. Um, so in this saber there only fits a 25 millimeter blade but in the upcoming aluminium saber there will be space for a one inch blade. Um, I guess the shrinking of the model comes from the cooling down of the material during or after the printing process. So these are some three quarter inch blades with some custom huh, machined tips. I don't have them at the moment but I, they are ordered so um, this is just for shaft. And what you might see here on camera is that the side blades are um, significantly darker than the main blade. We are working on that so we can get a high power LED in here uh, to the side blades too and also allow to have flash and clash on them. So of course you have swing sounds and clash. Yep. And if you really want you can of course change sound fonts by holding the auxiliary button and press it again so then you have a normal saber but this actually doesn't make sense on a Kylo Ren saber. So we switch through the sound phones quickly to get back to our sound font we want to use. Of course you can um, put out the boot or replace, replace the boot sound with a different one or just with the file of 0.5 seconds of silence, but this is how this works. Okay, so the next thing I would like to show you is something we need to take the blade out first. This is a 3D print, so it's a bit more fragile. Of course, you won't have trouble with the aluminium. I'm doing it off camera, it's easier for me. Okay, so if you want to get to the SD card of the board, and I think that's probably one of the most important things because some people just want to like to um, edit their config files for different Saber settings or so, then you can unscrew the bottom. I have not glued this cable into place uh, now uh, because I wanted to, to uh, show you that if you have finally done your preparations and made your config file then of course you can do that but in our case it's not the case yet so you grab that and you just unscrew it that should be done very easily with the aluminium version later on but for the 3d print it's a bit harder so a bit more careful to do that not to damage the wire although it's pretty flexible and pretty tough and then 
the rest you slide it off and you see a 3d printed chassis which i designed for a crystal shard from plecto labs as already said so it also houses a lithium ion, ion uh, 18650 battery with integrated pcb protection circuit board with the proper resistors for the leds and we have the soundboard of course in the back there is the 2 watt bass speaker and of course the recharge port if you now want to get to the sd card um, which is placed down under the board here. You just take some uh, yeah, tweezers or something like that and you put push on the SD card then you can take it out make it changes put it back in and then just have some little clicks and that's it. Um, the chassis is held in place by a set screw through the threading here, so you won't, it won't rattle or won't fall out or won't slide anywhere or rotate or something like that. So um, everything is nice and locked in place and when you're done you just take your the bottom of the saber, place it back on Oops. and screw it back to your saber. So when you're done, yeah, not too far, then you can put the cable into the right place and well, that's it. So this version of the Sabre now has a crystal shard but I will also make a chassis that um, contains or can hold a crystal focus of course if you want to and if you want to have your saber installed by me um, I will definitely make one uh, prototype later on when there I have the first saber received so you can see about that but I guess or I think um, it's pretty enough for most of you um, to have a crystal shard because you also have the trident feature with the delayed ignition of the blades you have a lot of swing sounds, clash sounds, power on, power off and that's actually uh, more than you can, you have with uh, FX Sab the usual FX sabers or most um, soundboards that you get on the market. So that's it for now. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.